Are you ready? Welcome to another edition of Adams Cable High School Basketball, featuring a Lackawanna League Division III battle as the Carbondale Area Chargers face the Old Forge Blue Devils. Brought to you by Adams Cable Service and by the following Carbondale sponsors. Main Street Sunoco, Bestons Auto Body and Collision Center, Nick's Excavating and Paving, by your local Napa Auto Parts store, Tonkin Auto Supply, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Big Lamini Drug Store, locally owned and trusted since 1929. McGovern Insurance Agency. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home. Main Street Childs. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. Your starting lineups are presented by Roselle Department Store. It's time for the tip-off of high school basketball between Carbondale area and Old Forge. Courtside at the Pete Taronis Gym with the call of today's game, here's Glenn Muskowski and Steve Young. It's time for basketball here at the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale. Lackawanna League Division Three action featuring the Blue Devils of Old Forge and the Chargers of Carbondale area. With Glenn Muskowski and Nick Homick, I'm Steve Young. A little bit early with the basketball game tonight due to the impending storm on the way. So the junior varsity contest moved up to 5 o'clock. Varsity contest getting underway just about 6.30. So it's going to be an early night, Glenn, but a great ball game on hand as Old Forge is in town to take on the Chargers. Old Forge, 8-8 eight eight overall. They're coming off of a loss at Lakeland, 41-38, uh, to 38, while the Chargers of Carbondale area, they have definitely struggled this year to an overall mark of 4-12, and 12, and they are still looking for their first win here in league play. Well, Steve, it's, it's, it, they're going to have to uh, settle down with their offense. They're going to have to be a little bit more controlled. Uh, they, they turned the ball over an awful lot of times in, in, in the last game we did up in Lakeland. And they made a, they, they put themselves in a hole because of the uh, inability to put the ball in the basket. But so then if they can, and then they came back in the second quarter. I thought we'd have a game, and then in the second half, this, they just they just couldn't make a basket. And uh, so they're going to have to change a little bit, and they're they're going to have to get someone out there in front of this uh, uh, offense to control the tempo of this game. In the first half matchup between these two teams, it was a 22-point victory for the Blue Devils, 54 to 32. So here tonight, the Chargers on their home floor, hoping for better success against the Old Forge Blue Devils. Hey, we had a great junior varsity contest. It almost went into <laughs> well, overtime. It, it had overtime written all over it. It sure did, but Carbondale area prevailed over the Blue Devils by the score of 38 to. 35. So this will be the first of uh, three games in five days for us. Glenn Old Forge Carbondale here tonight coming up yeah. on Saturday Susquehanna and Carbondale area boys then on Monday weather permitting it will be the Forest City Lady Foresters and the Mountain View Lady Eagles. Well you know how, how, how things go up in Forest City Steve. Uh, my wife told me this morning when we got up she says uh, I, I, she saw on the, on the television, jo Joe Snedeker, it was minus three in Four City, and it was uh, 10 in our house. So it's a big difference. Just go six, eight miles up the road, and you got some nasty stuff up there. So weather permitting, we'll have that game for you on Monday. And right now, we will go to a break and return with more pregame highlights on today's Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup between the Blue Devils and the Chargers when we return on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Everyone is looking for ways to save money today. The total home packages from Adams Cable Service are a great way to do just that. Starting at $69.99 per month, you can get cable, high-speed internet, and unlimited phone service. You're probably paying that much just for one service right now. Call Adams Cable Service today and ask about the total home packages. Cable, internet, and phones starting at only $69.99 per month. Adams Cable Service has a package to meet your needs, and it's the smartest way to save money. Call Adams today. You're ready for the big game, but how about your car? 
As you travel through downtown Carbondale, look for the classic yellow, blue, and red Sunoco sign, drive in and fill up with the fuel of choice from Main Street Sunoco and get the finest performance from your car. At Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale, prompt courteous service is always assured. Congratulations to our local athletes and coaches for their hard work and dedication from the staff and management of Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale. When your car does this, call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. Now back to the gym for more Adams Cable High School basketball. Welcome back to the Pete Taronis Gym, where it's time for Lackawanna League Division Three action between Old Forge and Carbondale area. For the Carbondale area Chargers, they are on a five-game losing streak. Their last win came over Susquehanna by the score of 40 to 39. That was uh, quite a while ago, five games yeah. ago, and uh, we'll have Carbondale and Susquehanna coming up on Saturday. And Glenn, that should be a dandy match. That should, that probably will be, Steve. Probably Very equally competitive. matched. Very equally matched. Uh, both teams doing a little bit of struggling in their in their respective divisions, but uh, you know tonight's game, you're going to get a lot from Old Forge. You know, Old Forge, uh, a year in and year out, comes at you, switches defenses. They'll press you. They'll zone press you. They'll they'll half court trap you. They'll come out and they'll play man to man, and they'll run the floor. They'll put a lot of pressure on. So Carbondale's guards are going to have to come up strong tonight if they want to contend with that Old Forge team. Now. Uh, there is a situation with Carbondale. They they turn the ball over. They've been turning the ball over an awful lot, uh, and they have to and they have to constantly work on uh, trying to continue uh, continue to protect that basketball and, uh, and control tempo and and slow this Old Forge team down tonight. Well, Old Forge has a couple of guys that could really bring it in Joey Gatowski, a six foot two junior guard who is averaging 18 points a ball game, slashing style, going yeah. to the basket, very good. Also, uh, A.J. Cantarella, a six foot seven senior center, he's averaging 11. So look for his inside presence yeah. here tonight. Well, yeah, you know, he's that that, that Car Carbonell's go. I, I I suspect Carbonell might go into his zone. I, I don't know. I didn't I didn't talk to the coach before the game, but I I suspect they may go into the zone and try to help out and to sag down and and, and keep uh, Cantarella boxed in a little bit. But you're still going to have to. You're going to have to find Joey Gatowski because he could certainly shoot the basketball. Well, Carbondale area will have a very young lineup on the floor tonight. They'll have a freshman, two juniors, a sophomore, and one senior out on the floor tonight as uh, Landon Gabriel tries to find that right combination and is kind of building for the future. So uh, that's the way things are going for Carbondale area with a record overall of four wins and 12 losses. They were 0-6 in first half play and. Uh, here tonight, they'll take on a Blue Devil team that is averaging about 46 points a ball game while giving up 41. The Chargers averaging 41 while allowing 55. So we will go to another break, and when we return, we will have a look at your starting lineups for today's game between the Old Forge Blue Devils and the Chargers of Carbondale area after this timeout on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Improve the appearance of your property with the help of Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale. Nick's Excavating and Paving provides the highest quality service in residential and commercial excavating, paving and seal coating, demolition, land clearing, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Nick's Excavating and Paving also delivers sand, stone, topsoil and mulch. For prompt professional service, call Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Looking for great prices and special offers on top quality parts and accessories? You'll find them at Napa Auto Parts. 
Visit Talkin' Auto Supply in Carbondale for great savings while supplies last. Only at Napa. Stop in and see Glenn, Garth, and the staff at Talkin' Auto Supply in Carbondale. Your know-how folks. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Keep your vehicle running safe and efficiently with complete automotive care by Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Brooklyn Street, Carbondale. You can rely on Jerry's for minor repairs, wheel alignment, Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and brand name tires for a smooth ride. Stop in and see Jerry, call 282-TIRE, or visit their website, jerrystire at gmail.com. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Brooklyn Street, Carbondale. Here's Glenn and Steve with more Channel 7 High School Basketball. Back at the Pizzeronis Gym in Carbondale, it is now time for your starting lineups for today's game. Presented by the Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, where you will save up to 40% on all remaining winter apparel during their annual winter clearance sale. You know, it's not too early to start thinking about that formal affair or special event. If you need to outfit a wedding party with tuxedos, let the experience of Sam Kalur at the Roselle Department Store work for you in a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno and Son. Roselle is school uniform headquarters in the Upper Valley for Lakeland, Carbondale area, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross, Forest City, and Valley View. Roselle and Carbondale now offers fast, reliable laundry and dry cleaning services. You can always depend on the Roselle Department Store for unsurpassed quality, style, and value. Sam and the great staff at the Roselle Department Store in Carbondale are proud to present the starting lineups for today's game between the Old Forge Blue Devils and the Carbondale Area Chargers. For the Old Forge Blue Devils, overall at eight wins and eight losses, at uh, forward it is Armando Salavante. The 5'11 junior seems like he's been around forever. Joey Gutowski gets the start at guard. He is a 6'2 junior, averaging 18 points a ball game, and he has 13 three-pointers on the season. Nick Pelosi at guard, a 5'7 junior, averaging almost eight a ball game. A.J. Cantarella gets the start at center, a 6'7 senior, averaging 11 points a ball game. And Ben Grahowski is at forward, a 6'4 freshman, averaging four and a half a ball game. Your starting five for the Carbondale Area Chargers, brought to you by the Roselle Department Store in Carbondale. Kyle Burrow at point guard, the 5'11 senior, averaging nine a ball game. Bobby Selitsky gets the start at guard. He is only a freshman. He has scored 10 points this season. Joe Kilhelen lines up at guard tonight. He is a junior. Evan Deary, the sophomore, gets the start at guard for the Carbondale Area Chargers. And at forward for Carbondale Area, Justin Potus, a junior. He has scored 49 points this season. So when the stage is set for today's ball game between the Old Forge Blue Devils and the Carbondale Area Chargers. Well, Steve, again, good defense by Car on Carbondale's side. Protect the basketball. Hit the glass. They're going to have to box out. 6-7, because he's, he's going to be on the glass all night. So, uh... You're going to have to box him out and hopefully uh, uh, get some uh, key defensive rebounds. And now to Honor America, our national anthem.
Well, there are certainly a lot of talented young people in the world today, Glenn, and that was a beautiful rendition of our national Well, anthem. it's something that uh, Eric's been doing the last couple of years, having some students come and sing the national anthem. We had it going when I was here, too, for a while. Then then for some reason it stopped, and uh, now it's back, and it's a good thing. It, it, it showcases some of the things that the, the kids are doing in the school. Well, here we go with uh, high school basketball, Blue Devils, and the Chargers. And it will be Joe Kilholland at center court. And he is uh, a junior going up against the six foot seven senior, A.J. Cantarella, for the opening tip. And here we go with Adams Cable, high school basketball. And it's Old Forge taking control uh, and shooting at the basket. As to I our suspected, left. Carbonell in a 2 3 zone. And the Blue Devils the will hands up their half-court set. Get the hands up, uh, give it, uh, block up the passing lanes. And the Blue Devils turn it over on their <laughs> opening possession. That's called not looking the ball into your hands. Here comes Carbondale area with point guard Kyle Burrell to set it up. Bobby Solitsky, the freshman, will take control on the perimeter. And Solitsky on the right side was looking for Kill Holland. Miscommunication. Sullivanti with the layup, and Paul Forge has a 2 0 lead. Now Burrell, 5'11 senior, averaging nine a ball game, gives it up to Solitsky and a foul away from the ball. Well, probably a little bit with the body, I think, on, on Cantorell, maybe. Yep. Cantarella will get whistled for his first personal foul. Team's first. And Carbondale with more miscommunication yeah. on the inbound. Yeah, Deary it's, and it's, company it's, just can't. couldn't get on the same page. And the Blue Devils will bring the ball the length of the court. Nah, it's just not good. You can't do that. That's, that's the simplest stuff. Katowski cut off on the baseline. Good defense by Kill Holm. And... Old Forge with A.J. Cantarella. Baseline shot, hacked on the wrist, and with Old Forge up 2 0, A.J. Cantarella at six foot seven will step to the charity strike. Foul on uh, Evan Deary. Cantarella shooting two. And the Blue Devils as a team shooting at 61%. And Cantarella, a 56% free throw shooter, gives the Blue Devils a 3-0 lead. And he makes it four. And the Chargers will look to work their half-court offense. Okay. Uh, all four in their man-to-man. -man. Slitsky puts on the brakes. Get, get some mo motion, get it moving. Kill Holland with an open look. That's a nice shot by Joe Kill Holland. Nice, smooth, and good follow through. And, and, they, and they've got to take that shot. That was an easy shot. A and 15 it's, footer. It's a 4 2 Old Forge lead. And some indecision there, and off the turnaround by Grahowski, he misses. And right now, Gutowski thought about it. will give it up. Pelosi looks inside. Good ball movement by Old Forge and good defense by Evan Deary. Well, good hustle by Evan Deary. I almost I had a, a turnover by Old Forge. They'll get the ball back. Again, offensive rebound by one of the smallest kids on the court for, for Old Forge, uh, Mondo Salavante. Got to box them out no matter how, how big they are. 4-2, the Blue Devils with two minutes gone by first quarter. And the Blue Devils in a lot of traffic. Pelosi will kick it back outside. And Gutowski with a long three misfires. And Deary collects the loose ball. And Solitsky will set it up for Carbondale and flip it to Burrow. And this is Evan Deary from downtown off the mark. Solitsky with a rebound and the putback knocked away. Good defense by Grohowski. Blue Devils up by a pair and a traveling violation called on Gutowski. Uh, too, much, too, in a, too much in a hurry to do something. That's uh, Joey's second turnover of the, of the evening. So got to be a little bit careful. Of course, in a game where Gold Forge likes to play, you're going to have turnovers because you're going to run the floor a lot. Chargers trail by two, and it's Evan Deary. Solitsky. 
And Carbondale pacing offensively right here in quarter number one. And Deary with a long three off the iron, no good. Salavanti collects to Karen. Nearing five minutes to play, first quarter. Joey Gatowski on the perimeter. And Gatowski cut off by the defense of Kilholland. Inside they go. Good ball movement inside, outside. That's Carbon the idea. Carbondale hanging tough off the turnaround. And it was Cantarella not getting the roll. Ball was loose. And the Chargers keep it as Polis took control. Kilholland with a short pull up and nails it. And we're tied at four, the Blue Devils and the Chargers. What Josh did the last two times down the court, Carbondale did not do all year long. Just pull up and take that 10 to eight, eight to 10 foot jump shot. Gontowski misses, and Carbondale will bring it across midcourt. Kilholland right to the yeah. basket. Out of control. Out of control that time. Pelosi for the Old Forge Blue Devils. Pelosi double team will work it out on near center court. And Salavante goes cross court. Once again, good inside out movement by the Blue Devils and Gutowski's shot rims out. Krahowski with the rebound and the put back. It's hanging. Nope, won't fall. And Evan Deary rebounds for the Chargers. That thing seemed like it hung yeah. up there forever, Glenn, and a scoop shot by Selitsky is off the mark. And on the break, Gutowski with a runner. Didn't get the roll. It's the rebound, they push it back outside. Cantarella, 15-footer, got it. 6-4, the Blue Devils with almost three and a half left in the first quarter of play. Now Burl will direct traffic, guarded by Pelosi. And Carbondale almost lost it, Deary. Will reset it. Burl left side. Potus with the drive. And Selitsky goes outside. And the shot won't fall for the Chargers. Up with another one, and they miss. Coming across midcourt is Pelosi for the Blue Devils. Posting up. Here is Cantarella. And he's called for an offensive foul. What do we got? Cantarella will be called for oh, the little, little forearm on the drive. That's two on Cantarella. So for Cantarella, his second personal foul, team's second. Uh, for Carbondale, that's that that now that kind of puts Carbondale probably has a, uh, a size advantage out by a little bit. But they're going to have to move the basketball a little bit more and, and uh, get some screens and some pick and rolls, pick and pops. And the Chargers now with POTUS. Oh, a nice turnaround. Nice, great move. And we're tied at six. The Blue Devils and the Chargers. There's an outside shot by Brendan Edwards for the Blue Devils to give them a nine to six advantage. Now it is Burl. Good ball handler looking for help. Sean Bellinas will come out. He'll go cross court. And it is Jordan Martin. Bounce passing inside. Martin gets it back. The short pull up is bouncing around. Wouldn't fall. Sometimes, Glenn, you yeah. just can't buy a basket well, of Salamonte. That, that is for sure. As the break going, and outside jumper by Edwards won't fall. Pelosi kicks it back outside. Good ball movement by. Oh, forge against the Carbondale zone. And with a buck 33 on the clock, first quarter, and the Blue Devils leading nine to six. What's oh, the strategy pick that right one here? And Kilholland picks it off. Here's Kilholland to the hoop. Knocked away. Kilholland's got to get under control. He's out of control going to the basket. Carbondale down by three, nine to six. Kilholland to inbound. Ball kicked away by Gutowski, and Kilholland will inbound once again. Yeah, he, again, if he stopped, take those jump shots like he did in the first two, that was perfect. Loose ball. Here come the Blue Devils. Gutowski on the break with the scoop shot. Basket is good, and the foul. Yeah. 
Looks like it might be on POTUS, and it is. First personal on Justin POTUS. Second team foul. And Gutowski is on the stripe, a 70% free throw shooter. And he banks it in. 12 to 6, the Blue Devils. Carbondale area now with Bolinas going cross court. Kilholland from the outside and knocks it down a three. Good shot. That was a that was a good skip pass over the top of the zone. It was wide open. 12-9, Old Forge. Under one minute to play, first quarter. And the Blue Devils patiently working it around the perimeter. And Gutowski off the drive. It rims out, and the ball's rebounded by Martin. Here come the Chargers with Burrow with 35 seconds on the clock. First quarter, and Burrow lost it, and a reach-in now yeah. called on the Chargers as Pelosi was hacked. Protect the basketball. Protect the basketball. Burrow will be called for his first personal foul. And the team's third. 25 seconds right now, Glenn. And uh, and, uh, and probably that's what, uh, that's what Carbondale probably should have done down the other end, played for one. And it will be... Easy to say. Pelosi. <laughs> Retrospect, it's easy sure. to say, right? Gutowski now with 11 on the clock. And the Blue Devils, eight seconds left. And an outside shot by Gutowski is off the iron, no good. Two seconds on the clock. Burrow will launch the shot that's off the mark, and that will bring it into quarter number one here at the Pete Taronis Gym in today's Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers 12 to nine on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Here's great news from Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale that can save you money and make shopping for your prescriptions more convenient. Figlamini now has an 895 generic drug plan and free local delivery. Figlamini offers diabetic shoes, lift chairs, and home health supplies. That's what sets Figlamini apart from the chains. Locally owned and trusted since 1929. Stop in and see the difference for yourself at Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale, where your you're not just a number, your family. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Back with more high school basketball. Carbondale area going to work in its half-court offense, and uh, Martin couldn't pull the trigger on a three. Jeff Arthur in the ball game for Carbondale area. That's better uh, ball movement and, and movement in itself by Carbondale. And underneath the basket, they score on some uh, good ball movement by Connor Deary underneath. He scores, and Carbondale area now trails by one, 12 to 11. And the Blue Devils going to work in their half-court offense. Moving the ball well. Gutowski will bounce pass. It's Pelosi to set it up. Brendan Edwards in the ball game wearing number 22. Edwards on the near side. Edwards will pull the trigger, and this shot is short. Blue Devils get the rebound as Grahowski will push it back outside to Gutowski. Gutowski, short pull-up, didn't get it. Salavanti with the finish. Well, they are getting killed on the offensive glass. They have, uh, Old Forge has six offensive rebounds already. 14 to 11, Old Forge. Pearl almost lost it. And underneath the basket, up with the shot, and it was rejected underneath by the Blue Devils, Deary went up, Connor Deary went up with the shot and uh, it was knocked away. He is a junior forward for the Chargers. Blue Devils by three, 14 to 11. And it's Gutowski 
Cross court. Edwards couldn't handle the pass. It was knocked away by Carbondale. Katowski, you notice when Katowski gets the ball, he's right in that triple threat position. The ball's up. He's ready to shoot, dribble, or pass. Great all fundamentals of basketball. And it is Edwards, 5'7", senior. They look inside. Salavanti will give it to Grahowski, and he scores. 16 to 11, the Blue Devils. Burrell on the run, crossover. And we'll look to give it up to Arthur. Arthur in some traffic now. Will Go look strong. to drive in a lot of traffic, gives it up, and Martin off the turnaround scores. Jordan Martin, the senior, scores for Carbondale area, and the Chargers hang tough, trailing 16-13. Good defense by Martin inside. They'll kick it back out, and Edwards will launch a three. Misfires. Connor Derry collects the carry. Here is Burrow. Looking, looking now. Needs some help. Derry off the drive. Nice scoop good shot. Move Basket right there. good in the foul. Woo, strong, powerful move by Derry. That was pretty. Ben Grahowski called for the personal foul, his first and the team's third. Now do we uh, have a missing contact lens maybe, Glenn? Uh, As all of the players are looking around. Hope it's not they're not looking for his gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll know when you step in there, right? <laughs> Connor Deary on the stripe for uh, the Chargers trailing 16-15. Derry ties it up. Carbondale is a team shooting at 55% this season. And the Blue Devils with Edwards to Gatowski. Gatowski. And this is Joey Gatowski with a three. Now he's a scorer. You got to get out and play him. You have to know where he is all the time. Blue Devils back to a three point advantage, 19 to 16. Under five minutes to play, first half. Martin inside. They were looking for a kill. Holland couldn't get the ball to him. Gutowski will slow it down. Grahowski trying to go up with the shot and was uh, handcuffed on the play by Connor Deary. Four thirty-eight remaining in the first half. Derry with his first personal and the team's fourth. Ben Grahowski on the stripe for the Blue Devils, <laughs> a 41% free throw shooter. And here's the free throw by Grahowski. Perfect. Second one is off the mark. Grahowski, a sophomore forward for the Old Forge Blue Devils, leading 20 to 16. Edwards will check out of the Blue Devil lineup. And Grahowski with one more free throw toss on the way, nails it. Not a bad, not a bad uh, shooter. Nice follow through, good form. Blue Devils up by five, 21 16, as the Chargers will go to work in their half court offense. Kill Holland. Reverse that ball. Martin. Jeff Arthur. And the shot by Kill Holland got it. He got the roll. And the Chargers answer with a basket, well, trailing 20. Carbon was working at baseline very well on, on, on that. Uh, Offense, they're, they're having the, the, the back screen and the down screens and they're working that well. Here's a short pull-up jumper by A.J. Cantarella, who's back in the lineup, and he will go to the free throw line. Connor Deary called for his second personal foul, team's fifth. Cantarella, 56% free throw shooter, wow. Just a little bit off the mark. Nothing but air. 
What do we usually say? Nothing but net? Yeah. Nothing but air. Sometimes that that's happens. That, well, Glenn, you know what you that know? is? That's that just that, that short arm. That short arm of the right. shot. Just got to hit that thing and follow through. Much better. This that's time a, it rolls right. off the iron, and Joe Kilholland has the rebound. Burrow, right side. Oh, Solitsky you got to look to open. Shoot. We'll pull up now with the shot, and uh, he had his shot, Glenn. Just waited a little bit too long. Well, yeah, he's got, you, you've got to take that shot. If you're open, you've got to take that. There's no question about it. When you, when you hesitate, and then you don't know whether to shoot or shoot, then you shoot it, then you're, you're not in sync. It's a three-point Blue Devil lead, 21-18. to 340 left to play in the first half here at the Pizza Romas Gym. Glad to have you on board today for high school basketball here on Channel 7. Once again, good ball movement by the Blue Devils as Pelosi will knock down a three. That pinpoint passing really pays dividends. And, and, but the but, but the the defense of Carbondale is moving after the pass is made, reacting to the pass. You got to react. You must react to the individual as he as he's ready to pass uh, pass the ball. You can't you can't let the ball pat be passed then try to react. You got to move with the with the ball. 24-18, the Blue Devils. Solitsky will inbound to Burrell. And Carbondale area will set it up. Burrell near side. Evan Deary is in the ball game wearing number 25. Go out, get the, will, go out and get the ball off of him. Come and get it. Evan Deary inside to Kill Holland. Kill Holland, nice move, didn't get it. Oh, nice. Tipped back up by Martin. Nice, uh, went to the glass very well, Martin, that time. Carbondale now down by four, 24 to 20. Playing some really uh, aggressive defense. I, I, I think that's a terrible call. They, they had him trapped there, and, and he just bulls his way through and knocks people over. That, how do you call a foul on somebody like that? Foul on Kyle Burrell. Second personal on Burrell, and the team's sixth. And the Old Forge Blue Devils with a four-point lead and the basketball. And this is Anthony DeLuca for three. And the Blue Devils have a seven-point lead, 27 to 20. Pearl will give it up on the far side. Deary. Deary off a screen by Solitsky, goes right to the basket. Kill Holland, baseline shot. A little bit too much, too heavy. Martin will kick it back outside. And it is Deary going to Martin on the left wing. Selitsky pull up. A little bit too heavy, and it is Gatowski with the rebound for Old Forge. Under two minutes left, first half here at the Pete Taronis Gym. And no, you, they can shoot. Pelosi you got to get out there. Open. Oh, this ball rims out, but good rebound by Gorhowski. And Old Forge with Joey Gatowski knocking down a three. And the Blue Devil lead is 10 with 1.38 left to play here in the first half on Adams Cable High School Basketball. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Enjoy the feel of deep, rich luxury. Get the drama of radiant color and experience the timeless beauty, comfort, and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop and Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and carpeting on display in their showroom. Rely on Tom's Floor Shop for expert installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop. Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Now back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. A minute 38 seconds remaining in first half action in this Lackawanna League Division Three boys basketball matchup between the Blue Devils and the Chargers with Old Forge up by 10, 30 to 20. Well, Steve, you got a team like Old Forge that can shoot the basketball from the outside. 
Oh, what do we have now? Yeah, it must have a uh, technical. As Burrow misses the shot. Missed something in, in, in the timeout. Burl hits the second one. Oh, uh oh, we got we got the message from our cameraman. Technical on Cantarella. That makes that wow. makes his third. That would be his third. And I don't it's know. On the I don't, I don't, third personal. Don't know what happened there. Ball knocked away, and uh, Carbondale area with a minute 30 on the clock. First half will set it up. 30 to 21, your score. Burl hemmed in. Kill Holland throws it into the hands of Gutowski. Fast break is on, and uh, Old Ford's ball had the ball tipped away by Carbondale, and the Blue Devils will inbound under, under their own basket. You cannot pick your dribble up 20, 30 feet from the basket. And then, then you're you're in no man's land out there. You're in, you're in for a lot of trouble. Gutowski looked to uh, hook it over, and uh, underneath the basket, Salavanti could not score. Missed a chip shot, and Solitsky rebounds on the run. Here is Evan Deary underneath, looking for Martin, knocked away by the Blue Devils. Carbondale area will put the ball in play with Evan Deary, 5'10 sophomore along the baseline. Deary looking into Martin, posting up. Nice shot by Martin, didn't get the roll. Ball's loose, Burl will pull up and launch a three. Too short, follow up by Selitsky, no good, and the foul. Carbon will hustle on a little bit, but you know, for a minute, the last minute and a half in that first quarter though, you have a good shooting team like all Fords out on the perimeter. Carbonell got a little lax. They never got to the ball. They, they didn't get their hand up. And boom, two or three threes out, out of the last, uh, in the last minute and a half, to give him the 10 point lead. Selitsky hits his first free throw of the year for the Chargers as they trail 30 to 22. Bobby Selitsky, a freshman, scoring his 11th point. And calmly hits the second free throw. Well, uh, you know, you get, if you got nice rotation, even if the ball is short, it could bounce up and, uh, and you, can get, you can get the nice roll like he had. And ball is loose. Carbondale comes up with it. Burl across midcourt quickly with 35 seconds to play in the first half. Burl from downtown. And suddenly Carbondale is down by four, 30 to 26. Kyle Burrows the, is, is, the, is the guy that's got to get going for Carbondale offensively. And if... Wow, good defense, oh, good. ball. Bobby Selitsky right in the yeah. mix there. I'll tell you what, for a freshman, he's Polis. doing a nice job out there, both ends of the court. It's a four-point Blue Devil lead as Gutowski will put the ball in play with play for one now, I'm 19 sure. seconds to play in the first half. Boy, this has been a great ball game between the Chargers and the Blue Devils. Oh, that's silly, silly, silly foul. Silly foul. Joe Kilholland whistled for the personal. That is the seventh team foul. So uh, the Blue Devils will be in a bonus situation. As Anthony DeLuca Senior guard is on the free throw line and hits the free throw. 67% free throw shooter this season, DeLuca. 31 26, and DeLuca with the second shot. Got awfully quiet suddenly, didn't he? <laughs> 32 26, the Blue Devils. Final 10 seconds. <laughs> get a of good the shot off half. here. Get, 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 let's run a little, little offense. Burl almost lost it. Five seconds on the clock. Burl in traffic. Blue Devils get it back. They launch the shot at the buzzer, and that will bring us to halftime here at the Pete Taronis Gym in today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball showdown with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers 32 26 here at halftime on Adams Cable High School Basketball. 
What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there. When you need them, and with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of parts you need in stock and ready to go. go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at njsgo.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. You're ready for the big game, but how about your car? As you travel through downtown Carbondale, look for the classic yellow, blue, and red Sunoco sign. Drive in and fill up with the fuel of choice from Main Street Sunoco and get the finest performance from your car. At Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale, prompt courteous service is always assured. Congratulations to our local athletes and coaches for their hard work and dedication from the staff and management of Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. Improve the appearance of your property with the help of Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale. Nick's Excavating and Paving provides the highest quality service in residential and commercial excavating, paving and seal coating, demolition, land clearing, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Nick's Excavating and Paving also delivers sand, stone, topsoil and mulch. For prompt professional service, call Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Looking for great prices and special offers on top quality parts and accessories? You'll find them at Napa Auto Parts. Visit Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale for great savings while supplies last. Only at Napa. Stop in and see Glenn, Garth, and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your know-how folks. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Keep your vehicle running safe and efficiently with complete automotive care by Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Brooklyn Street, Carbondale. You can rely on Jerry's for minor repairs, wheel alignment, Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and brand name tires for a smooth ride. Stop in and see Jerry, call 282-TIRE, or visit their website, jerrystire at gmail.com. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Brooklyn Street, Carbondale. And we're set for the third quarter of play as both teams will come out to Center court, and the Chargers will have the basketball to start quarter number three here at the okay. Pete Taronis Gym. Okay, now first couple minutes of the third quarter is always important. Get yourself a good shot, play some good defense, protect the basketball. At one time, the Blue Devils had a 10-point lead, and right here, Carbondale area will look to set it up. Burl trapped, and that's a jump ball, and Old Forge will have the possession. Yeah, you, you, you've got, if you're going to, if you're going to weave the ball like that, you've got to make sure that they don't power switch and jump into the, in, in, right into your face like they did on uh, Burl that time. Now the Blue Devils have it go off their fingertips as Grohowski could not handle the pass. And Carbondale area will bring the ball the length of the court, trailing 32-26. Burl one-on-one -on -one against Pelosi. Burl looks and Kill Holland will come out and be guarded by Salavanti. Chargers with POTUS and now Kyle Burl. 
Wow, and boy, that was almost picked off, and Kilholm pulls up with a 15-footer, rims out. Battle for the ball. Selitsky with the putback. No, didn't get it. Kill Holland had it go off his fingertips. Gahowski comes out of the pack with it. Blue Devils by six. And it is Old Forge with Pelosi. Bounce passing to Salavanti. Underneath they go to Grahowski for the basket. That's good ball movement. You get the ball in that gray area to the on the baseline down there. And the, the defensive man goes on to play him. If we don't, if you don't get any rotation from that weak side, that guy on the top of the key is wide open coming down. Krahowski, a 41% free throw shooter, knocks it down to give the Blue Devils a 35-26 advantage. Burrow puts on the brakes and will give it to POTUS. Evan Deary. Bobby Solitsky, high post. And Carbondale area with Burrow for three. Good, oh no, that was a good, good square up to the basket and a nice shot for Kyle Burrow. And in a lot of traffic, the Blue Devils draw the foul. Solitsky was in the mix. We'll see who will get called for the personal right here. I believe it is Solitsky. Or 33, 35, though. Bob Solitsky. Solitsky called for his first personal, team's second. Chargers trail Blue Devils by six as Gutowski nails a three from the corner. You cannot leave him alone. You've got to know where he is all the time. That's just what you talked about, Glenn. There's a uh, ball thrown away, and Old Forge up 38-29 will in the basketball. No really, no, really no pressure. Right here, Glenn, the uh, Chargers really need to make a big oh, defensive well, play. They, they need, you can't they, let Old Forge go on a run right here. No, they're, they're capable of... Gutowski on the drive to the basket. No. Yeah, let's wait for the call. They call that good? They call that good? No, uh, no, I guess not. No call? Well, they're taking the ball out of bounds, okay. obviously. I, I, Second uh, personal on Joe Kill Holland. Team's third. And now follow on Old Forge. As Carbondale will get the basketball. Brendan Edwards. Oh, let's check that. Uh, Nick Pelosi. That's Called for the personal. His second, as Glenn mentioned, team's first. 38-29, Old Forge, your leader. Burrow kicks it back outside. Deary, and this is POTUS off the drive. Draws the foul. If you go in there strong, strong, protect the basketball. Go up strong with it. It's a nine-point Blue Devil lead. That's three on Pelosi, three on Cantarella. Justin Potus on the stripe for Carbondale area. 45% free throw shooter, nails it. Carbondale, as we mentioned, as a team, shooting at 55% this season. And Potus hits two. 38-31. Blue Devils with the lead and the basketball. Now Old Forge in that half-court offense. Pelosi looking inside. Selitsky wants to go right to the basket. Selitsky up with the shot and draws the foul. Good, good strong move to the basket. Go up strong. If you get hit, if the ball goes in, it's a bonus. If not, get your two shots. Now, a lot of people uh, are concerned about getting hit and then trying to make the shot. No, you try to make the shot first and then and, uh, take whichever you get after. No, Solitsky from the line, two for two tonight, and misses. Bobby Solitsky, only a freshman, getting the start for the Chargers. 5.22 to play, third quarter here in Carbondale. Second shot by Solitsky off the mark, Rahowski rebounds. Here come the Blue Devils with 
Gatowski directing traffic. Went with oh, a crossover uh, dribble, and that was just good defense ooh. by Evan Deary. It looked like it went off. It looked like it went off the old forge leg. I don't think the official was in position to see that one. You were. I was right here. <laughs> looked good to me. Looked like it was the wrong call, but who am I? Gatowski cross court. Anthony DeLuca ball tipped by Deary. And the Blue Devils start to move that basketball once again, and uh, whistle and a foul called against the Chargers. I don't, I don't understand that call. Guys underneath watching the play, no call there. This guy's calling it from out here somewhere. Makes no sense. 38-31, <laughs> Old Forge, and Salavanti takes the inbound pass. Gatowski. Cross court. This is Gatowski for three. Misses. And Blue Devils will be called for a personal foul. Leading 38-31. Brendan Edwards called for the personal foul. His first and the team's fourth. Well, Carmel's got to settle down here and get some get to get their offense rolling. And it is Solitsky with the basketball as they work it around the perimeter. Potus on the left wing. Potus pivots outside. They go. Deary had the shot. Oh, didn't Gary. take it. Well, he had a shot there. Glenn. Well, yes, you got to take that shot. And Carbondale turns it over. How many is that tonight for the Chargers? Oh, ten. 10. How about that? Gatowski was not looking for the pass from DeLuca, and it went right over at the scorer's table, and the Blue Devils turn it over. So 10 Charger turnovers in this ballgame, and they trail 38-31 against the Blue Devils. Solitsky to set it up. And out they go, Joe Kilholland. Now Burrow. POTUS. Solitsky giving it up. Derry couldn't pull the trigger. Uh, it, seems, it seems at times Carbondale will have a shot. And there is an outside jumper that is off the mark by Derry. Katowski bounce passes. Salavanti with a baseline shot. Grahowski with the save. Out to Cantarella. And he will miss the shot under the basket. Nice move, but didn't get the roll. And Cantarella collects a loose basketball. And here they come the other way with DeLuca on the break. And Gatowski is called for traveling. Now the uh, scoring has kind of slowed down here in the well, last couple of minutes as the Blue Devils lead 38-31. The performances have uh, kind of flattened out a little bit here on both teams. Nearing three minutes to play, third quarter. Blue Devils 38, Chargers 31. Kill Holland and Solitsky. He'll bounce pass. In Carbondale area with Sean Bolinas in the ball game wearing number 24. Justin Potus throws it into the hands of Cantarella and Carbondale turns it over once again. No reason to throw that ball in there. There was nothing there. 38-31 Old Forge. <laughs> And back outside, Gutowski for three. He didn't get it. Ball's tipped around. Burrow will come out of the pack with it. Here's Burrow pulling up for three. Boy, you leave him open, Glenn. He will burn you. Oh, he's a good shooter. Coming into this ball game, he had 26 three-pointers. And Jared Yanello wants a timeout with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers 38-34 on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Here's great news from Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale that can save you money and make shopping for your prescriptions more convenient. Figlamini now has an 895 generic drug plan and free local delivery. Figlamini offers diabetic shoes, lift chairs, and home health supplies. That's what sets Figlamini apart from the chains. Locally owned and trusted since 1929. Stop in and see the difference for yourself at Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale, where you're not just a number, you're family. 
Back at the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale with Glenn Noskowski and Nick Homick from Frankie Carl Productions Working Camera. Steve Young here on this Thursday evening for Lackawanna League Division Three Basketball. Chargers Blue Devils 38-34. Old Forge with 2.23 to play in the third. Sitting right next to, right across from me, Steve, Dr. Armando Salavante the second. His son is playing, and of course, his dad was a teacher and an educator and a coach for Old Forge for a hundred of years, I think. Uh, when I back, a good friend, very good friend of mine for years and years. And the Blue Devils will go right to the basket oh, good with block. Cantarella missing underneath. Off good block and a by, block uh, by the Chargers. Good block by. Uh, and Kill Holland will inbound the basketball. So the Chargers down by four as we near two minutes to play in the third. And an opportunity right here as Bolinas will bounce pass and Kill Holland will take control. And I believe a foul will be called on Salavante. That's his first. The referees are tightening this game up quite a bit now. They're not. I don't. I, I don't think they're letting the letting the, the kids play now. Steve. They're put, caught a little bit too close. You got to let them play a little bit here. First personal foul on Armando Salavante. Fifteen foul. Carbondale area with Bolinas to put the ball in play. Kill Holland. We'll look to work it back outside. Martin, who is in the ball game, will flip it to Burl. And Bolinas for three. Off the mark, good rebound by Cantarella. Here come the Blue Devils on the run. DeLuca to Edwards. He misfires. Martin up for the rebound and a foul on the play. Well, that was, you know, if there's such a thing as a good foul, that was a good foul. Uh, you know, he had an opportunity to get the ball. He's. He, well, this will be uh, called on. Armando Salamonte, his well, second. They, they, they could have started a fast break there, so that, that would be probably a good follow, I would think. Burrow will put on the brakes, and he's double teamed. He needs help. Somebody has to come out and help. Finally, Jordan Martin comes out. That's not the guy you don't want. You don't want him handling the ball out there. Get in there and bang around some people inside. 38-34, Old Forge, your leader. Again, Carbondale looks like they're playing their offense side to side again, east to west, not north to south. Selitsky wants to attack the basket. He'll give it up. Burl hemmed in in the corner. Kill Holland out on the perimeter, almost lost the basketball. And with one minute left to play in the third quarter, we have a foul called on the uh, Chargers. I don't. I think I got blocking foul on, 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 the, uh, on the offense. I don't, I don't know who that foul was on. Well, it did not go up on the scoreboard yet. We're still waiting, Glenn. Oh, that's Kilholland's fourth. So Joe Kilholland in serious foul trouble with number four and the team's fifth. Blue Devils leading 38-34. 51 seconds to play, third quarter. Gutowski for three, out of bounds. Once it goes on top of that glass backboard, Glenn, that's no, it. it. No, not Steve. Actually, really? actually, it could hit the top. Oh, it could. Without, with, without going over and come back into play. Uh, back in the day when they had some teams had half moons. Right. If it went over the half moon glass backboard without hitting anything, it was still playable. There's a loose ball, and uh, that's a jump ball. Old Forge will have the possession with 29 seconds remaining. So if a ball goes on top of if the glass. If, if it hits it, the top or the sides of the glass, it's in play. In the right. bottom. But if it goes over, it's out. Okay. If it hits if it the, hits, obviously, if it hits the pipe, it's out. Right. If it hits any of the supports. Or the, or the, or the wire supporting it, yes. And Old Forge. Uh, if you're going to double team. You Blue Devils lose the ball. Good save by Carbondale. Burrow battles for it. Who's got it? Blue Devils come up with it. 13 seconds left. Gutowski to Edwards and a foul. Called on uh, Carbondale area. That's Might kinda, be Connor Deary. Yeah, that's his third. 38-34. <coughs> Blue, the Blue Devils have been uh, cold in this third yep. quarter of play. Scoring really? only six points. No, uh, actually... And Carmen only scored eight, so it's, it's been at a premium scoring in this quarter. 
And Old Forge floats it into Cantarella. He's hacked. That's 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 uh, Connor Deary's fourth. He he goes out there. He get he gets his money's worth when he gets out <laughs> yeah. on that floor. Deary with his fourth, seventh team foul. Cantarella on the stripe, a 56% free throw shooter this season. And the shot rims out. Seems as though uh, there's been a lid on both baskets here. Well, it, 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 it appears to be, doesn't it? Wow. Cantarella with uh, at six foot seven with another free throw and didn't get the roll. Carbondale look with an clock. opportunity. Look at the clock. Five seconds left. Selitsky will give it up, and this will be a shot by Connor oh. Deary off the mark at the buzzer. That will bring an end to the third quarter of play here at the Pete Taronis Gym with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers 38-34 on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Now, back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Set for the fourth quarter play here in Carbondale with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers 38-34. Carbondale with the basketball to start quarter number four as Stolitsky will give it up to Bolinas on the near side. Jeff Arthur and company. Arthur, a 5'9 senior guard in the ball game, and uh, Selitsky throws it into the hands of Cantarella, and here come the Blue Devils. Also, Glenn, uh, like to uh, touch on this right now. It is coaches versus cancer week, as there's an outside shot that won't fall for Nick Pelosi, and Carbondale has the rebound. Suits and sneakers, as you see the coaches with uh, sneakers on, and an outside shot is good by Evan Deary for three, and it's 38-37. The Blue Devils clinging now to a one-point lead. Both Kyle Burrell and, and Evan Deary are, are, are pretty good outside shooters, but they need to they need some space to get the shot off. So uh, they need to move, they move uh, without the ball to get free to get these shots. Now the Blue Devils will work it around the perimeter. Katowski thought about a three. Salavanti will pull the trigger and knocks it down a two. To give the Blue Devils a three-point advantage, 40 to 37. Well, in the first meeting between these two teams, it was the Blue Devils with a 22-point win down in Old Forge, 54-32. But right here, they've been in a dogfight all night against the Chargers. A very young Charger team as uh, Selitsky was driving to the basket. And draws the foul. That that's the Deion Salavante. That would be his third. Watch out. Yeah, let's uh, wait for it to go up on the scoreboard. Jeff Arthur will go over and have a chat with uh, head coach of Landon Gabriel. Third personal foul on uh, Armando Salavante. Blue Devils get the basketball. Here they come with a three-point lead. Kutowski out in three-point land. Crossover dribble. Pelosi looking inside. Pass is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Martin. And another foul. So, uh, wow. Boy, the officials are blowing the whistle yep, awfully quick here tonight. Well. That's the fourth on Cantarella. 
He really hasn't even gotten started in this game with foul trouble that he's been in. Hey, you know, that, and he's one of the, certainly one of the weapons Old Forge has. Jordan Martin on the stripe. He is a 40% free throw shooter. And the Chargers trail by a pair, 40 to 38. You know, that technical foul foul was a big, becomes a personal foul. Sure, now he only has three, and he's he could play the game with four. Martin misses the second shot. Gutowski clears the boards for Old Forge. Pelosi will bounce past. They'll work it back outside. Gutowski gives it up. Back out they go. Near side. Salamonte underneath. Good to ball Cantarella. movement. Absolutely good ball movement. That was just pinpoint passing, and the Blue Devils have a 42-38 advantage. That is the way you move the basketball against the zone. 5.40 to play, fourth quarter. Arthur gives it up to Bolinas. Martin thought about a three. Evan Deary out along the three-point line. Jeff Arthur will bounce pass. It's Bolinas taking control. And Martin. This will be Jeff Arthur for three, and the shot rims out. Follow-up by Martin is good. Jordan Martin right there with a big rebound and the putback. He's and the Chargers trail by two. He's banging the pretty well for Carbonell tonight. He's doing a good job on the glass. This probably is one of the best games that Carbondale has oh. played thus far this season as Gutowski nails a three. You cannot, you cannot leave him alone. And the Blue Devils are up 45 to 40. 4.42 to play, fourth quarter. Bolinas will give it up, right side. It's Burl, Martin, and Arthur. Flips it to Burl. He will launch no, he the shot ready. too short. He wasn't, he wasn't ready really to shoot. Set. No, he wasn't set at all to shoot that shot. You notice he was looking to see if he can get behind the three. No, no, absolutely Take not. Take the shot. Take the shot. Blue Devils with a five-point lead, 45 to 40, and the basketball. His first move was looking down at his feet where they were. Now you got to you got to take the shot when it, when, it, when, it, when it's given to you. Nick Pelosi, 5'7", junior guard, will work it for the Blue Devils. Salavante cross court. Matowski drives with the short pull up, misses, and Carbondale area with Martin. Flipping it to Burl, so plenty of time for the Chargers. They're down by five. Got to get some good shots down the court now. Got to keep the, keep the ball moving. Kill Holland, Jeff Arthur drives. Oh, that's a forced shot. Absolutely a forced shot. And the Blue Devils with a five-point lead can be a little bit more deliberate right here, Glenn, with the basketball. Well, absolutely. There's no reason to uh, force anything. Pelosi will survey the Charger defense. And Gutowski, Salavanti, Pelosi. No. Pelosi going, just right. holding Carmel's on to the going basketball. back into their man to man, so now they're going to have to play tough. Gutowski in the corner. Looking, wide open shot. Missed it, and it is Deary with the rebound. Carbondale trailing 45 to 40, nearing three minutes to play in the fourth. Kill Holland, top of the current, top of the key. And Burrow. Carbondale wants a timeout by Landon Gabriel with the Chargers trailing by five on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Enjoy the feel of deep, rich luxury. Get the drama of radiant color and experience the timeless beauty, comfort, and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop and Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of hardwood, laminate, Vinyl, ceramic tile, and carpeting on display in their showroom. Rely on Tom's Floor Shop for expert installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin. At Tom's Floor Shop, exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Welcome back to the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale alongside Glenn Muskowski and Nick Homick from Frankie Carl Productions. Steve Young here. Great ball game cooking in Carbondale with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers by 5, 45 to 40 with 2.58 remaining in the fourth quarter. So Landon Gabriel called a timeout to uh, get his 
Make sure his team is on the same page here, Glenn. So uh, the Chargers well, have a shot down by five. Plenty of time. They have the ball. Look, get get a good shot, and then get back and play some good defense. Uh, you cannot leave Joey Gatowski alone. I mean, he's got he he is he is the scorer for them. He is he's got uh, 15 points, uh, and he leads them in scoring. And so you got to keep an eye on him. You got to know where he is primarily. Yeah, Gutowski having a big night as Selitsky will work the Carbondale offense. Burl will come out to set it up. Burl drives between two defenders and scores. Good move, good move, good setup coming out of that timeout. Blue Devils now up by three, 45, oh, 42. Stop the ball. Gutowski, short pull-up jumper. Didn't get the bounce. Kill, I'll tell you, Kill Holland jump. has, that's a big rebound by Kill Holland. Oh, Selitsky tried to throw it down to Martin. Yeah, where, where are you going? Where are you going? You have plenty of time. Plenty Martin of time. was open under the basket, but uh, the pass by Selitsky just a little bit too high, too hot to handle. Well, you know, if it's not if it's not a a clean pass, bring it back out. Two two half, two minutes and twenty four seconds a lot of time. Personal foul called on Jordan Martin of Carbondale. Salavanti on the stripe. For the Blue Devils, a 46% free throw shooter this season. And it is 46-42 Old Forge. Now the Blue Devils will be at home against the Dunmore Bucks coming up on Saturday. And the uh, Blue Devils knocked off Dunmore 46-44, Glenn, in the first half of play. Oh. And they're at home. They beat them at Dunmore. <laughs> wow. So uh, they're home on Saturday. So they really want this ball game desperately. 47-42 Old Forge. Selitsky on that right wing. Evan Deary will set it up as we near two minutes remaining. Jordan Martin, Kilholland and company. Burrow drives. They look to give it up. Back outside they go. Carbondale with Martin going to the basket. He scores. Basket's good in the foul. That's a strong move by Jordan Martin. Jordan Martin, the senior, with the basket, and he will be on the stripe for the Carbondale area Chargers. Trailing 47 44. Boy, this one's coming right down to the wire, Glenn. Yes, it is. And the shot by Martin rolls around the rim, and it's rebounded by Old Ford. Now, Old Ford's probably going to bring it out a little bit, so Carbondale's going to have to come out and play them. But don't overplay where you're going to buy. This guy's going to get by you. Well, with the Blue Devils up by three. Oh, the Blue Devils throw it away. Gutowski was looking for Salavanti. Well, but why even take it under the basket and risk it? Why, why take it under the basket if you're not going to go to the basket, number one? And number two, why jump in the air and throw the pass? Because if you, there's no one open, you're done. It's a three-point <laughs> ball game, 47-44. The Blue Devils, Carbondale with the basketball. Buck 25 on the clock, fourth quarter. Evan Deary. And a foul on Old Forge. I believe it's on Salavante. Yeah, that's his fourth. And now if you're Carbondale, this is what you want. You want to try to score with no time running on the clock. Joe Kilholland on the stripe. He is, for Carbondale, he is a 67% free throw shooter. That's all a double bonus. Eighth uh, attempt team foul for uh, Old Forge. And Kilholland makes it a two-point game. Boy, this has been a dandy game. Well, it's a good one. It's a good, it's a game. good game. Both teams are playing hard. Joe Kilholm, the junior, hits two. The Chargers don't get beat long. Don't get beat long. Six, and here's don't a long down court long. pass. Gutowski couldn't save it. Steps out of bounds. Carbondale has the basketball with 121 left. Good idea. If you may, if it works, but when it doesn't, they get the ball back. Unless he, unless it was touchdown here, okay. And it now won. Carbondale trailing by one, 47-46. Take your we'll time go to work in their half-court offense. Martin 
Off the turnaround. Didn't get it to fall. Gutowski yeah, that, collects not, the not, not a real good shot. That should have been kicked back out and dropped, thrown right back in. Blue Devils clinging now to a one-point lead. As Gutowski will work one-on-one -on -one against Burrow. Gutowski sees an opening. He'll give it to Salavanti. They'll bring it back out near center court. Clock winding down and a foul called on Evan Deary. I guess you got to kind of look and see if you have the time running out now who you can foul, but if they get the ball, but uh, with 44 seconds, you don't you don't have many options. That's for sure. Well, Nick Pelosi is not the guy you want on the line shooting at 68% uh, this season. Blue Devils up by one, 47 46. Here's the free throw by Pelosi. Perfect. 48 46, and the 5 7 junior guard, Nick Pelosi, with a big free throw right here. And the Blue Devils have a three point lead. 49 46. A timeout you should up oh, there it is timeout is get get yourself squared away here don't need a three and we will go to a break and when we come back the final 39 seconds of today's game with the Blue Devils leading the Chargers 49 46 on Adams Cable High School basketball what does it mean to be an expert does it mean getting the job done right or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution whatever the meaning the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components so whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up the experts Experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Now, back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Welcome back to the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale, where the Old Fords Blue Devils have a 49-46 lead with 39 seconds to play in the fourth. Well, you don't, you don't need a three, right? You get a two. It's a two uh, you, look, you look for the good shot. Get your first shot that you have. If it goes, you play good defense. If you have to, you commit a foul. And the worst it can be if, if they don't score on the foul shot is uh, still down three, right? So, but you can't take too much time. You got to take the first shot you get. Kill Holland. Oh, there it was. Too. Deary in the corner now. Kyle Burrow. 31 seconds remaining. 49 46. Old Forge leading Carbondale. Kill Holland with the outside shot off the back iron. No good. Grahowski collects the carom. And a reach in committed by Jordan Martin to stop the clock with 19 seconds to play. I, I think there was two opportunities 10 seconds ago for Carbondale to take the shot. They were obviously looking for a certain individual. It looked like Burl to me. Uh, but when he wasn't open, you got to take the shot. And, you, and you've, got, you've got to, because there was two guys wide open. Tenth team foul for Carbondale, so it will be the double bonus as Gutowski hits the free throw. And it's a four-point Blue Devil lead with 19 seconds left. Gutowski shooting at 70%. Makes it look easy. 51-46. Old Forge. Final 15 seconds. Deary off a screen. And they can't get a shot away. They have to take a shot. Uh, There's a ball tip. Gutowski with seven seconds with the layup. And that will do it. The Old Forge Blue Devils defeat the Carbondale area Chargers here tonight by the score of 53 to 46. Congratulations to the Old Forge Blue Devils and Jared Yanello as overall the Blue Devils improved their overall mark to nine wins and eight losses. And in Division Three, they now even their record at one win and one loss, while the Carbondale area Chargers fall to four wins and 13 losses. And they are now no wins and two losses in Division Three play. So, Glenn.
great effort by the Chargers here tonight, but they just could not pull it out at the well, end. Well, at the end, they, they I think they wasted too much time looking for a one one individual or one person. I'm not sure exactly what they had, they had in mind. They didn't need the three. If they can got it, they, they, was, they were open to take a couple quick twos there. They should have, probably. Now, if, like I said, if they go, fine. If it goes, you're down one. You come down, you commit a foul if you can't, if you can't, if they make three, you're still in the same situation, and you haven't wasted 20 seconds on the clock. At times uh, in the last couple of minutes, especially when Carbondale had the ball with under a minute left, Glenn, they did have a couple of opportunities where they could have launched a shot. Yep. Old Forge collapsed defense quickly on them. They were really unable to get a shot away, and uh, yeah. they fall here tonight, 53 yeah. to 46. But a much better effort than the first time oh, down by, in Old Forge oh, when they were far. defeated by 22 points. Oh, by far, yeah. They they were right in this game right through the end. Uh, they actually, lost uh, the game got away from them in in, in the last uh, 20 seconds where they had a foul, and uh, of course Old Forge made all made their foul shots in the key situations. Uh, a good effort by, by Carbonell tonight. Uh, they played hard, uh, and that's that's good. That's a good sign, I guess, uh, because they haven't really been playing really well all, all year long. They've 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 showed spurts of good of good play, and then they fall back into uh, uh, the old uh, the way they they they've been playing a little sloppier. But tonight, I think kudos to them. I thought they played a very good game. Just came up a little short. And that is going to wrap it up for today's game as the Blue Devils win it by the score of 53 to 46 over Carbondale area. We'll talk to you again for our next broadcast coming up on Saturday when Carbondale area will host the Susquehanna Sabres. For Glenn Muskowski and Nick Homick, I'm Steve Young. So long till next time. This Adams Cable Sports presentation of high school basketball between the Carbondale area Chargers and the Old Forge Blue Devils was brought to you by... Adams Cable Service and by the following Carbondale sponsors Main Street Sunoco Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center Nick's Excavating and Paving by your local Napa Auto Parts store Tonkin Auto Supply Jerry's Tire and Auto Service Big Lamini Drug Store locally owned and trusted since 1929 McGovern Insurance Agency Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. Your starting lineups are presented by Roselle Department Store. Don't miss the high school basketball game of the week, Saturday, January 31st, when the Carbondale area Chargers take on the Susquehanna Sabres, here on Adams Cable Channel 7.